Good afternoon, everybody. Hi. My, name, my name's Roy Oaken, and my family owns and operates Wonder Valley, and they keep me in the office most of the time doing all the corporate things, and they only let me come out occasionally to do magic, so if you let Mr. Dustin know I did a good job, then he'll let me out of the office a little bit more, see? Dustin, you did a good job. <laughs> We're gonna do some close-up magic. In close-up magic, they say the hand is quicker than the eye. eye, but that's not true. The hand is really quicker than the mind. The eye sees everything, but the mind can't follow it. Although you're very intelligent and you're really close, we're going to come right over here and start with something with one short piece of rope, one medium-length piece of rope, and one long piece of rope. If I take the bottom of the short piece and put it right here, I can come down and take the end of the long one, match it to the end of the medium sized one, and stretch that short one, so now we have three equal pieces of rope. To prove they're equal, we can even count the one, two, and three equal pieces of rope. I can come right over here and take the end of one, come down and take the end of a second one, and show you there's really just one small piece, one medium piece, what? and one long piece. It's a good beginning trick right here, so I may show this one to you a little bit later. They never reveal their secrets. They never do. <laughs> What's wrong with those people? I'm going to use these two cards and do this right down here on the pad, but if I take these two playing cards and just rub them together like this, we'll get 50 cents. Oh my God. I can take the same two cards, rub them together again <coughs> to get a second 50 cent piece. Oh my God. What a <laughs> these cards are for sale right after the show. Okay? <laughs> 50 cents. <laughs> and last but not least, a fourth 50 cent piece. That's called a four coin production. If I push these two coins right up here, I can take the same two playing cards, turn them sideways and rub them together and get a big penny. <laughs> That's called that's called a four coin production. If I cover up the top two coins with these cards, four coins, two cards, we're going to do something called a four coin matrix. I'm going to make one coin jump across under the other card. It just takes a second. The hands never cross, but the coin jumps right over. Wow. We're going to go ahead and cover the top two and the bottom one and take that coin and put it here so we've got the three. And last but not least, we'll push the other one all the way across. So all four coins are right there. No, no, no. Okay, look at this. Sit back, guys. Sit back. I've got, I've got three in my left hand, two in my right. If I take and put one, two, three down and take one of these two and put it over here and put one down, how many are here? Zero. None. Watch this. I can take a 50 cent piece. It looks like we take it and put it here, but we don't, and it's not in this hand either. It's not up the sleeve. It's not here. Just wave the hand, and it comes right back. <laughs> All we're doing is something called palming coins. Here's a secret. I can take the coin in my fingers and move it up to my palm and use this hand to do other things and keep the coin right there. See that? It's called palming coins. So if I showed you the five coins again, three in the left hand and two in the right, and put one, two, three down, and take one of these two and put it here and put one down. How many are here? One. None. Yeah. Where's the other one? Zero. <laughs> I showed you one of three ways to get rid of them. I'm not going to show you the other two. I'll pay you. I'll pay you. When my son was in grade school, 
He used to call me in to do show and tell every semester for the same kids that went through school with him every semester. The only person new in the room was a different teacher. But he always wanted to see the same trick over and over. It's called Jaws, like the movie. You know what that's about? That's the movie Sharks. Sharks. These aces are girls, and this red pad's the ocean. And these four girls are swimming in the ocean. We're going to take the rest of the deck, give it a quick cut, just like so. And we're going to put one, two, three cards down with each of these girls that are swimming in the ocean. Everyone knows there's lots of what in the ocean? Sharks. sharks. These cards are card sharks. And we're going to take the first one, two, three cards and form the mouth of a killer shark. Here it comes after the first girl. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> this girl doesn't have the heart to get away, see? Heart. And she is swallowed up. And she, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four is gone. No yeah. We're going to take the next one, two, three cards. We're going to form the mouth of another killer shark. Here it comes after the second girl. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> this girl, she carries a big club, see? But she's no match for that shark, and she too gets swallowed up. And she, one, That's two, three, four. One, two, three, four is gone. None of the, none of the We're going to take the next one, two, three cards. Now this girl, she has lots of diamonds, so she can afford to be out in the ocean on her own boat. But a huge wave comes and hits that boat and flips it upside down and everything on that boat gets tossed around. Finally, with a lot of work, she's able to get that boat right side up. And even though the boat flipped all the way over, she hung on and stayed right there with the boat. And then what happened is she slipped and fell overboard. And she, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, Four was gone. Two to four. We're going to take the next one, two, three cards. Now, this girl, she's stronger than all of her friends put together. But even though she's so strong, here comes that shark. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. And she too gets swallowed up. And she, one, two, three, four, is gone. But she's so strong, she's able to fight her way back out of there. And not only that, but she brings her three friends wow. with her jaws. <laughs> Thank you. One day after I did this in class, I got a call from the teacher saying, your son's selling your magic secrets to the rest of the students. <laughs> he, she said when the principal caught him, he had $85 in his pocket in the third grade. I told the teacher on the phone that, I'm sorry, I." I'll talk to him as soon as he gets home. It will never happen again. I can't believe he did it. But at the same time, I'm thinking, man, he's going to grow up to be a pretty good business person, right? <laughs> the thing is, is he never knew how any of my secrets, but the other kids didn't know that. So he could tell them whatever he'd want to tell them, and they'd keep handing over their lunch money. <laughs> True story. And he did, and did he get to <laughs> Here we have a $1 bill. We're going to fold it this way, this way, this way. Would you blow on it for me? That's how you blow your money, see? <laughs> and if we take it and open it right back up, now we have a 5 and a $10 bill. Now, he'll be around. He'll be around later to blow on your money. Now, um, oh, hold that for me. Take a good look at that. $10 bill. That's Hamilton on the $10 bill. If we take Hamilton and fold him once this way, once this way, once like this, we can take him and open him right back up, and now we have... Jackson on the 20. I'll be happy to change any 20s into ones for you a little bit later. <laughs> for those of you that want to grow up to be leaders, in order to be leaders, you have to have followers, right? 
In order to have followers, you have to have influence to influence them to want to follow you. This is a trick about influence. I'm going to show you right here. I've got one, two, three, four red back cards. I'd like for you to imagine right here that these four cards are the four queens. And I'd like you to think of any one of the four queens in your mind. Do you have one in your mind? Yeah. Good. Right here I have one, <coughs> two, three, four blue back cards. And I'd like for you to imagine that these four cards are the four queens. And I'd like you to imagine any one of the four queens in your mind. However, if she's thinking of a red queen, I want you to think of a black queen. What color were you thinking of? A black queen. So you think of a red queen. Okay. I'm going to make your two choices because I already know what they are. Switch pile. Your black queen is the queen of? The queen of clubs. The red queen is the queen of? Hearts. The queen of hearts right here. The two cards. Now, not only that, remember I said I made them switch piles? The queen of hearts is the only blue back card. The queen of clubs is the only red back card. And the rest of the queens are jokers. Japanese ninja rings. Watch carefully as metal goes through metal. What? Metal through metal. I can pull one right off the bottom or put it on top. I can lay this down like this and pull the two ends off. I have one here, three here, two and two, one and one. That's the gray guy. See the bottom one? Watch the bottom one as we attempt to bring it to the top. Can we get that bottom one to the top? Here we go. Bottom one to the top. One off the bottom, two and two, one and one. Japanese ninja rings. Thank you. Let's see, I need a volunteer in the second row. Somebody athletic. Your name? Your stay right there. That guy right there. What guy? Right here. Yeah, Mr. Okay. Actually, I need two volunteers. So both of you can stay right there. Okay. I'm gonna throw. I'm gonna throw you something. All I need you to catch it. You ready? Here it comes. Good catch. What you have is a deck of cards. Can you shuffle them up for me? No, take, take them out of the box first. <laughs> now fan all those cards in front of you and hold them over in front of him so he can pick one card. Look at the card. Memorize it. Don't forget what it is. Take that card, reverse it so it's face up backwards from all the other cards and slip it back in the deck. Go ahead and close the cards back up. Put the cards back in the box and go ahead and toss them here. <coughs> now, <laughs> go ahead and tell everybody what cards you reversed in the deck. Ace of spades. The ace of spades. Nobody picks the ace of spades. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to open this deck up just like this. I'm going to pull these cards out. I'm going to show you right here, the ace of spades is the only card reversed in the wow. deck. Right there. The ace of spades. The ace of spades is the only card in this deck because on one side they're all red. If I turn this deck over to the other side, the other side they're all blue. The ace of spades is the only card. How about a hand for those two right there?
This is Timmy. <laughs> Timmy's a tiny plunger. One day after I did a show, Timmy came up to me and whispered in my ear, and I was surprised he could talk, but he said he wanted to do a trick in my next show. I said, Timmy, what could you do? This is what he showed me. He took a card and put it down, and because he has this suction cup, watch what he can do. One, two, three. He was able to pick up a card. I said, Timmy, that's not good enough to be in a show. I said, maybe if you could pick up more than one card, that would be something. But the suction doesn't go through to the second card. It only goes to the very top card. About a week later, I never thought I'd hear from him again, but he came back. And he actually laid out one, two, three, four cards. And he was able to pick up one, two, three, all four cards. I said, Timmy, that's pretty good, but it's not good enough to be in the show. About a week later, he came back and he said, give me a number between 1 and 10. Don't make it too easy. Give him a number between 1 and 10. Don't make it too easy, but go ahead. Tell Timmy. Six. OK, he said six. Here goes Timmy after six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. I said, oh. I said, Timmy, that's pretty good, but it's still not good enough to be in the show. He came back a week later and he said, give Timmy a number between 10 and 20. Go ahead, something between 10 and 20. <laughs> no, be, between 10 and 20. 15. Here goes Timmy. Timmy heard you, 15, right? After 15 cards. He's got to pump up for this one. Here we go, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, he's mad. I said, Timmy, that's. I said, that's pretty good, but it's still not good enough to be in the show. What? About a week later, he came back and he said, give Timmy a number between 1 and 10. Go ahead. Three. OK, watch this. Go ahead and pick any card for me. Don't show it to Timmy. OK, Timmy. OK. Go ahead, take it, look at it, memorize it. You got it memorized? Anytime you want to, put it down in the pile here. Okay. Timmy didn't see the card. You said three. Somebody said three. Three. We're going to cut the deck and count three cards. One, two, three. One, two. Your card was? The King of Hearts. The King of Hearts. Right there. Jimmy! Jimmy! That's still not good enough. Can Jimmy call? I said, I said, Timmy, that's good enough. Now you can do a trick in every show. So now I have to let him do this trick in every show. Until next time, Timmy. Timmy! 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 I took my same son to Las Vegas when he turned 21, and we found the largest magic store we could find. And they've got some really big magic shops there. The owner was there doing tricks. I didn't see anything I wanted, so I didn't buy anything. But before I left, I took a one and a five out, and I showed him this trick I'm going to show you. And he told me if I showed him how to do it, he'd give me anything in his store worth up to $200. So I have something at home worth $200 I never use, but I always do this trick with a one and a five. This is the old $5 bill. They got rid of these a few years ago because they did strange things. So here's a five and a one, two bills. I'm going to take the one and put the one right here. I'm going to take the five and fold the five once this way, once like this, once this way. I'm going to put the five right here. I'm going to take the one and fold it like this, like this, and like this. I'm going to put the five with the one. Hold your hand out for me. I'm going to put them, here, bring your hand right here. Caleb, Caleb. Right here. 
I want to see Caleb. Right here. Oh, Caleb. Okay. Yeah. Bring your hand right close to me. I'm going to put them both in your hand. Close your hand. Turn your hand over. Keep her right there. I have nothing. He's got $6. He really has a five and a one. I'm going to come over here like this and take one out of your hand. So open your hand up a little bit. And I want you to hang on nice and tight to the other one. But, le but let me take one first. OK, hang on tight right there. Keep your hand just like that. I have the one. I'm going to take the one and put the one in my hand. He's got the five. Don't let me take that five from you. Yes. I'm going to knock the five from your hand over to mine and push the one back to yours. So if I open my hand, I'm going to show you I have the five. And if you open your hand, you have the one. <laughs> and it's done with two bills, a one and a five. Thank you. He's like, he's his hand. Did you figure it out, Caleb? You're magic. No, I'm going to do one more and then show you how to do that rope trick. We don't, we don't see things how they really are. We see things how we really are. It's our past conditioning that goes into how we interpret things. Watch this carefully as I'm just going to show you what I have is a three of clubs, okay. an ace of hearts, okay. and a two of clubs. Okay. There really is one, two, three cards. Your object is simple. Follow the ace. Don't lose track of the ace. We're going to take the ace and we're going to put it right here, the two and the three. I'm going to put the next card here and the last card right here. Most people would say the ace would be here. And they'd be wrong. It's not here. It's in the middle. It is right in the middle. I'm going to do this again, but this time I'm going to tell you when I'm making the switch. And some of you will see this. Follow the ace. We're going to take the ace. This time we're going to put it right here in the center, the two and the three. Here comes the move. Watch carefully as we put one card here and the other one here. Most people would say the ace would be here. And they'd be wrong. If you were watching very carefully, you would know it's that it's not here either. It's right here. One last time. If it's too hard to follow three cards, we're only going to use two. We're going to take the three. We'll put the three up here. I've got the ace and the two. Two cards to follow. One's in the corner. Most people would say the ace would be here. And they'd be wrong. How do you Pretty good. It's magic card. It's like a sign there was one there. Okay, I'm going to show you how I did this one. This was the first trick I did, remember? Yeah. It's a good beginning trick, good way to learn. It's called Professor's Nightmare. So here's one short piece, one medium piece, one long piece. Here's the secret to everything. I take the bottom of the short piece and put it right here. It makes a little loop out of that short piece. Now I can come down and take the end of the long one, match it to the end of the medium sized one. While everybody's looking here, over here, I switch these two ends. Now if I grab this and pull it down, all I did was loop the long one over the short one. See that? And then I just put my hand there. Everybody understand? <laughs> Then all you have to do is count the one, two, two and three equal pieces of rope. And they're all the same measure. I can come right over here and take the end of one, come take the end of a second, and show you, remember, that there's a small, medium, and large. Everybody understand? No. No. One last time. Small, medium. Long, bottom of the short one makes a little loop. I come down here, match that to the end of this one. I switch these two ends. I pull this down so I have the long one looped over the short one. Now here's the count. I'm going to take this one out and count one. It's going to come back into this hand. I'm going to take the other two out and count two. This was number one and number three. So it looks like this. I get it now. One comes out. I switch it for the other two, right there, and three. Okay, good beginning trick right there. Well, I hope everybody enjoyed that, and. Uh,
Thank you. You want to ask a question or two, as long as it doesn't start with, how'd you do that? Any, <laughs> any questions?